What's going on everybody? Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. Today we're going to be looking at the weekly mailbox clearout. This is going to be going over all the things I sold in the auction house. We're going to give a total between two realms of what we started at um, the beginning of the week and what we're ending at um, today. Now the total is going to include things like callings, um, raw gold, and stuff like that. But the items we're going to be going over are strictly items that were sold on the auction house. So make sure you watch all the way through because you're going to get the most value out of this video going through all the different professions that I go through. Because this week I didn't do a whole lot on some professions, but that doesn't mean that you can't get info from um, other professions that I did sell on. If you want to skip around, timestamps will be down below. Along with the Discord link, make sure to join the Discord, like this video, sub if you like the content, and let's get going. So, last week, we ended on this realm with um, 3,398,000. Now, there are some things that happened. Um, I moved a character. I moved my blacksmith and engineer from my other realm uh, to this realm, from a high pop realm to a, well, to a full pop realm to a what's called high pop realm but uh, it's a lot lower population and I'm finding that the mounts I'm actually making gold on the mounts and some of the other items uh, that uh, I'm selling over here whereas before I was not so this realm actually jumped up um, in price as you can see down here and then I brought over my blacksmith and opened up all my mail and it went up so we're gonna be doing it all uh different today so we're going to start on what's normally realm two and we're going to start with that as realm one and we're going to go through that and then we'll just see what we sold items of note um that kind of stuff just talk about gold making in general and see what the total is so let's go ahead and start here with shroom and boom um now professions on this guy uh mining and skinning so as you can see in my mining, I haven't maxed it out in Shadowlands all the way yet. I've sort of flip-flopped these around. Um, but I'm looking uh, forward in Dragonflight to these two things being really, really, really good. Alright, so let's check out the mailbox here. 107 uh, mails total, so it's showing 100 of 107. So the total for what it's showing is 29,956. Let's see if we have anything of notes. A lot of this stuff is just stuff I picked up from um, like mission tables and just trash, right? Let's see. Burnished Arbalest. That is a transmog from somewhere. I probably farmed it months ago and it just sold. Berean Leather. Now, when I did this Berean Leather farm, Berean Leather was at 10 to 11 gold. I spent four minutes farming Berean leather and the price dropped down to like four gold. So region auction house problems, right? Anyway, I sold 252 of them uh, for 1,000 gold. Uh, some desolate leather, Arctic fur. That uh, I also got that with the um, Berean leather farm there. Icy dragon scales. These also come from the Berean leather farm. I farm the Ruby Sanctum. So get those as well uh plans light and forged blade this uh came from an old world uh, uh dungeon runs for transmog i believe um nothing really too big here just little odds and ends oh here we go bone shattered helm and bone shattered waist guard i picked these up for five gold each and then resold them for like in the 400 so that's good profit there no okay here's some big ticket items here ancient protectors pulverizer this is a drop from zareth mortis um honestly i was doing a skinning farm uh no i wasn't doing a skinning farm i take that back i don't know what i was doing something zareth mortis i think i was actually just killing stuff to get um do, doing the quest to get rep uh so i could get honored but uh anyway this dropped it's a green item that dropped in zareth mortis and sold for nine thousand five hundred gold pretty good there i was impressed i didn't even know what that was actually and it sold for that much uh bone cheddar greaves um same thing uh, i mean 
I paid five cold for these and somebody ended up paying 2,300 for them, which on this realm is, you know, that's, that's expensive, but I made a lot of gold on that coin of many faces. The farm for this is coming up next week. Uh, with the event that's coming up on Tuesday, um, you go to Draenor and you just get in a group and kill a bunch of stuff and hopefully you get some of these. Um, I sell them throughout the year. It's the only time you can get them is next week um, when the event comes up. But sold it for 11k. More odds and ends stuff here. Let's uh, open up what we got. So leftover um, outside of that first mailbox clearing is just this here. A mall sworn century cudgel um, that I think was a drop from the skinning farm in Corthia. I want to say I was in the skinning farm in Corthia and this thing dropped a 411 transmog sold really quick. Uh, actually, somebody probably didn't even use it for transmog, they probably used it for an actual item, which is awesome. So, 500 gold on that second part of the mailbox there. Let's open that up, all right, and let's uh let's move on. Next is going to be blacksmithing and engineering, which I spent a lot of time on this week, so I'm excited to check out and see what we did there. So let's check it out. All right, Beard of War, um, blacksmithing and engineering. Um, I do wanna see how much I made on this character specifically. There's a lot of stuff that's still listed. I uh, actually uh, started polishing up on my TSM profile for blacksmithing and engineering, and I'm gonna post that in uh, Discord here, uh, probably today or in the next few days. So if you're watching this in the future, then it's probably already up. If you're watching this video when it comes out, be expecting that, join the Discord, and you can uh, get this blacksmithing and engineering um, TSM profile. So anyway, let's look and see what we have. Now, you can see that it's 122 mail, so 122 things sold. And there's uh, some pretty big items in here that were sold, and there's some pretty big items that haven't sold yet, right? Um, so let's look and see. These fell, still, fell steel stabilizers, I sold 46 of them. Now, what I did doing my TSM profile, I just went through and saw what was profitable at the time, added it to a group, set up some operations and stuff like that. But I had never thought about these fell steel stabilizers before. Um, so let's just look up and see the um, the profit on them. The profit on these things right now is 76 gold. So you're spending 243 gold to make them uh, right now at least. And then 76 gold uh, profit per one with a good sales rate. So you figure 46 times 76, whatever that is, that's what the profit is. So this profit isn't all 14,000 gold, but still pretty dang good. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff I haven't thought about that would sell before. Like the bigger one, I've never heard of this. Making a couple hundred gold each on these things. It is, uh, it's just an item that I think blows up and does some damage. Standard scope, um, inlaid mithril cylinder. I mean, again, a lot of this is just um, old school engineering parts. Um, heavy mithril gauntlet. Probably made around 150 gold on that. Standard scope. Um, more the bigger one. I mean, there's just so much here, right? Shadow steel waist guard. Uh, this is probably a 262. Probably made a couple thousand on that. Um, Laystone Waste Guard made a couple hundred gold on that. All the ceremonious stuff right here. This is the um, either the weapons like the rapier uh, or they are level 87 novice gear and still making one, two, three hundred gold on those as they sell. Bronze framework. Uh, this is just small change here but made some profit. Big Iron Bomb, old school engineering craft. Shadow Steel Breastplate, again, the 262s, still selling for, what, 4,000 gold. Cost me about 1,500 to make. Shadow Steel Greaves, Shadow Steel Waste Guard, Gun Pack, Old School Engineering Craft, Folded Obsidium, Old School Blacksmithing Craft, uh, Adamantite Sharpening Stone. This one really surprised me. Adamantite Sharpening Stone, it, it, it is a low-level, like, weapon enchant. Um, selling like crazy. Somebody bought 44 of these at once. Some more fell steel stabilizers. Um, let's see, anything big down here? Yes, Phantom Blade, uh, 13,000. This is a uh, transmog, um, for the most part, I believe. Old school transmog from the old world, 13,000 gold. Now, I probably made about um, over 12,000 gold on this, which is crazy. Uh, so, we're at a Manti sharpening stone, some dreadful stuff, uh, sonic environment enhancer. 
um, old school. I think this is a Draenor craft for your garrison, uh, but I'm not 100% positive. Uh, made a couple hundred gold on that. Uh, let's see. Gun shoes, gun shoes. All these wormholes right here. Uh, Zandalar, Pandaria, Northrend. I mean, you're making a thousand or more gold on each of those. Those are engineering crafts. Swap Blaster, old school engineering craft, sold for 2100 uh mechanized snow goggles i actually made these so i was leveling up my northrend engineering to 75 so that i could craft the mechineers chopper um and these were required to like get the levels and then they actually sold some of the snow goggles some of them actually sell pretty decent make five six hundred gold on them inlaid mithril cylinder some more ceremonious stuff all right let's open uh this portion of it and see what we got next because i'm pretty sure we got some uh heavy hitters um, on the on the second page of all of these uh, sales here. Opening, opening, opening up the mail. Opening up the mail, opening up the mail. Yes, here we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, look at this. All right. So, Laystone Boots of the Quick Blade. 2,600 gold. These things cost about 100 gold to make, if that. Shadow Steel Arm Guards, these are level 87s, probably making about 6700 gold on those. Flying Machine, now this is this made me really happy. Once I switched realms, this Flying Machine sold almost immediately for like almost 3000 gold more than what it sells for consistently on the realm that I switched from. So it's still worth being on a lower pop uh, realm because the mats, which was the issue before, the mats are... Um, region wide now but the actual items some of them like the gear and, and the mounts and the weapons and stuff is still uh realm dependent so take advantage of that steel bound harness i'm going to make another one of these today probably i made uh over twenty thousand gold on the steel harness probably made close to thirty thousand gold honestly on, on it and the only the only hiccup with this is i need 50 uh blood of sargeras to make it and so i have to go out and specifically farm them but it's totally worth it you start farming blood of sargeras you're in for like uh 20 to 40k an hour easy if you have a steel bound harness recipe and the mechabond matrix imprint now these mechabond uh imprint matrix uh i bought these so this is the round that i was on before the price had tanked from like 20 to 15 to 20k all the way down to like 8,000 so I bought up like nine or ten of them and the price after a couple weeks never like recovered And so this was a benefit of uh, moving over here as well. I only sold one this week, but uh, I made a Lot of gold on it. So keep in mind though I, I bought this for 8,000 off the auction house instead of crafting it. if I craft it I can craft it for under a thousand and that's like 13k gold But um, I bought it for 8,000. So that's what uh, 6,000 plus gold profit right there easy and plus, when I already have several of these to list, I can funnel my bloods towards Steelbound Harness and make the gold on that. Pump Action Bandage Gun, 3,400. Bell Iron Casing and some more ceremony stuff. So let's open the rest of that. And uh, hopefully we can look at TSM here and it's going to show us uh, what we made on this character because I'm interested in that. Uh, so let's deselect all these guys beard of war and uh one million six hundred and one million uh five hundred thousand so honestly everybody i'm not sure how to read this so i skipped i drew I, when i changed realms what what is this day here this is the eighth this is the eighth so i spent a lot in crafting right so after I spent a lot in crafting, it dropped down here. And then it dropped again because I spent some more, I guess. And then so I'm back up to 1,591,000. So if you look down here, uh, this is going from the last week with this uh, one guy here. I've done this on two different uh, computers, by the way. So not everything is uh, calculated. Gold earned 180,000, uh, 30,000. Uh, earned per day uh, Corium power core. We skipped that didn't we in the mailbox uh, Corium power core you're spending like 600 to make it but making like 150 back. I've sold a lot of those um, And it says total profit 87,000 average profit per day 14,000 gold. So 
not too bad here it's a little wonky but if we go by this down here all the transactions and stuff like that um, this I don't think this covers what was spent outside of the TSM UI though so this is probably a little more accurate here but if we look at the auctions that I have listed we have all these auctions listed right here so 780,000 uh, <laughs> gold in auctions. So we about broke even, I guess, for the amount that I sold from what TSM is saying anyway. Seems a little unlikely to me, but uh, we're left over with um, three quarters of a million gold to sell off right here. So when all that stuff sells next week, um, it should be a lot, lot higher of a number just because I put so much into it this week. So still super exciting uh, to spend a lot of time on this guy this week and to um, sell a lot of the stuff that I didn't really realize that would sell. So I know this has been a big portion of the uh, of the video, but uh, he's the one I spent the most time on figuring things out. So let's go ahead and move on uh, to our next one. Okay, Captain Fantastic, uh, mining and jewel crafting. I will tell you in the last seven days, I did nothing on this character except for repost auctions and um, do the mission tables so even so selling some things that i had crafted in the past uh the necklaces and the rings these are both probably 262s and still selling for four thousand gold so definitely want to be crafting the 262s still that's a huge profit i mean this is like probably three thousand k profit each and then the uh, selenium necklace here, again, probably about 1,500 to 1,000 gold. Uh, Dagger Tooth Frenzy, 1,800 gold. I've had this listed for like 4,000 gold for like two months. Uh, the price came down a little bit. I just matched it and uh, sold. This is a pet that you get from one of the little bad violent um, rare fishies in Nazjatar. So 11,900 here. Okay, let's move on. Deadly Bones, Rogue, Skinning, and Leatherworking. Same thing with Captain Fantastic. I just am reposting auctions and doing the mission table. Uh, that being said, we did sell some uh, Transmog, uh, Shimmer Boat Treads, Revenant Leggings. These are both Transmogs, 800, 500. Uh, and then these are things that were crafted with Leatherworking. So 2,600 gold um, here. Let's open all those and keep moving. Turkey Club um, was previously what I would call Realm 2 blacksmithing. Not the case anymore because he's on the same realm as my warrior who I want to make my main blacksmither. So I think I may actually change these professions to what I'm not sure yet. Maybe like tailoring or something. Anyway, um, hasn't left Oribos. Just been posting stuff that I already had crafted. Some Luminous Flux uh, I sold. Probably lost gold on it. Um, I think I accidentally listed that. And then some Ceremonious stuff here. Uh, very minimal gold. 1,497. Let's open that up and get a total for the uh, the week on this round. Chubby Butter. Bank Tune. Big sale here on the Bank Tune. If you all follow me or you watch my live streams, there have been several times where we go around find decayed husks it is up in arden wield when there are certain callings up you can fly around and get the um big treasure boxes on the map some of those are called decayed husks this was brought uh, to my attention a few months back by a uh by a follower by a sub by a discord member and thank you so much for that uh thomas i believe thomas i think it was thomas if it's not thomas i'm sorry but i'm pretty sure it was you man thank you uh, because I've made gold on these. This is a transmog that came from a uh, decayed husk. And I usually sell, well, I've sold out all of them that I have. So this is completely free. You do it as you're doing the quest. Uh, Wither Scorn Reaper, 17,000 gold. Super, super nice. Bone Shatter Greaves paid five gold, literally five gold, and sold for 800 gold. Crash and Thrash and Cannon Controller. I have no idea how this sold for 34 gold, what TSM pro profile I had this set up on that would let this thing go for 34 gold, um, but it is embarrassing that I let it go for that. So uh, these paid five gold for them, just sold them off for eight gold. 
So 18K altogether. Super awesome sale with the Wither Scorn. Let's open that up and check out what we have for the week. So I must have updated when we went through all of our uh, all of our characters here. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, so we were actually at uh, 3,328,000. And then we are now at 300 3 mil, I'm sorry, 3,457,000. So let's bring up a calculator since I'm not a math whiz. 3,457,000. And then minus what we had back here, 3328,000, And then we get 129,000 profit. 129,000 profit on uh, this realm is pretty dang on good. So that's awesome. Let's go check out the other realm uh, and see what we have there. All right, uh, realm uh, number two, which was previously realm number one, Ham Sandwich was my main. Um, I'm switching mains up. This poor guy here, he's only got uh, 68 gold, so let's open that up. That is super sad, but I didn't do anything to deserve to make gold on this guy uh, this week. Take that back. I did actually sell some spires of um, something. The Let me see. Let me double check. So I can make sure I tell you the right thing. Um, they are the weapons, the staves. Soul Keeper's Spire and Soul Keeper's Column. I did sell a couple of these this week, but I accidentally opened them. But these are still good to make, right? Still got a really, really good sell rate on these here. Especially this one. 0.17. That's, that's pretty dang on good. So keep those up. Let's check out uh, Deadly Wedgie. Okay, Deadly Wedgie, um, skinning and leatherworking. Again, just relisting stuff that I've crafted in the past. Uh, we did sell some good things though, these Warbear Woolies. Um, these, uh, my other realm go for like 14,000. They go for like 3,000 here. Still though, made about 1,600 gold on them. Uh, leather Love Seat, oh man, this was a good one. Made about 7,000 gold on this. Flaming Hoop. Um, close to 2,000 gold on this leather pet bed, about 600 gold on that. So 14,000 altogether. Let's open that up. Let's check out our, um, tailor and then get a total. Deadly Kura, the tailor and enchanter. Enchanting has really fallen off the map. Um, I've just been crafting bags and it looks like the price of these bags is actually back up. So we're making about uh, 49 uh, gold off these again, which is really, really good. These are good to sell, the deep sea bags. Um, it's funny because you can see here that the uh, deep sea bags are 30 slot bags and the shrouded cloth bags are 30 slot bags. Um, and they're selling for about the same price, but the mats are much cheaper on the deep sea bag than they are on the shrouded cloth bag. So... Uh, you make gold on, on those, but not the other one. All right. Um, let's check out the mail here and see what we got. I think I just sold some bags. Uh, yeah, pretty much just bags. And not even a lot of bags. So let's open all these up. Nothing too exciting. Let's check out the bank tune and the total for the week. Okay, bank tune. Bank sandwich, um, looks like some transmog, some transmog, and a battle pet. This is from, okay, so I got this battle pet, Snarly, from a bag of fishing treasures bought with time dwarf badges from the Burning Crusade time walking vendor. The only other way to get this, uh, aside from buying on the auction house, is to do a daily in Outland, right outside of Shatrath City, uh, with old man Barlow, and if he has a quit or a quest up that is Crocolisk in the city, you go, you do the quest in the main city, come back, he gives you a bag of fishing treasures, you have a chance to get this item. So I stocked up on them during the um, the event, and I sold one. All right, so let's open that up. Let's pull up TSM here, and let's see where we're at. Make sure we got all the players here. Okay, and looks like 
we were at three, five, six, nine, and then we ended at three, six, oh, seven, three million, six hundred and seven thousand. So we're gonna take the three million six hundred and seven thousand minus three million. 569, 38k. So we'll take that plus the 129,000 that we made in the other realm, and that is 167,000 uh, gold profit. So 167,000 gold profit. Um, not my biggest week. Um, but I did only mainly spend it on uh, one character there, and that character is generated three quarter of a million um, gold uh, in auction house um, inventory, right? So as that sells, that's going to pump up a whole lot, and that's going to be good long term. So that's the thing about Warcraft, like uh, in games like this where you're playing the auction house, a lot of it is a long term thing, right? Like if you want just quick gold. Um, crafting and stuff is not always the best way because a lot of times you got to wait for those big ticket items. It's, you know, gathering is always going to be the king of getting gold now, uh, that and doing callings and those kind of things, but I'm okay. I'm a long time player of the game. I'm okay. Leaving that sit and then having that, um, return come back in a week or two weeks and getting uh, the big profits then. So let's look at what we got total across uh, the realms. Three, four, five, nine, one, two, three. Plus 3,607,000 is right over 7,000. So again, we ended a little under 7 last time. Uh, and so a little over 7 this time. But we've got a crap ton of inventory that we generated. Uh, learned a lot. Um, and next week, expect big profits out of blacksmith and engineering. Hopefully, some of those big ticket items sell, and uh, we'll be rolling in the gold, right? Which we'll all will be doing when Dragonflight comes. So, right now, it's a little tight, but fear not, Dragonflight and new uh, gold making opportunities are around the corner. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Please sub. We're over a thousand now. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Join the Discord. Uh, like the video. And remember, it's just a game. Have fun playing it. And until next time, I'll catch you all later.